Okay, so now we're moving on. We got um, uh, pull downs, lap pull downs. Uh, one, one set, real heavy set, uh, four to six reps. Um, a little different, if you've been following us, a little different than our past routine uh, where we did a couple sets there. So, again, keep, it, keep changing it up, keep changing it up. It's gonna be one all out though. One all out, as heavy as you can. What's up, Eli? Hey, what's up, Eli? Good there. Oh, my last. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Woo. All right. Welcome. Hey, thanks for joining in. If you're new to the scope, my name's Mark. It's my workout partner, friend Matt, over here. This is just our workouts for professional trainers, online trainers, phone coaches. And uh, we just scope our workouts every day, looking to meet and uh, offer value to people looking to burn fat, build muscle, feel better. So we're just trying to bring it. So if any questions you have about all that stuff, be sure to pop it in. And if your username doesn't match your profile, your, your real name, so put your first name in there so we can address you, you uh, correctly. What we're doing, we're doing back and biceps today. We're doing the lat pull down to the front. One set of a high intense set. All right, that's all loaded up. Got the, got the stack plus 25. This is going down. All right. Woo! All right. All right. Hey, thanks for joining in. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Come on now. Big back. Come on. Three more. Yeah. Here we go. Hey. Let's go, Big Matt. He says, yeah, he's quite into Let's go, Big Matt. All right. All right. All right. Hey, thanks for joining in. Be sure to click to follow. If you haven't followed yet, my name's Mark. This is my workout partner and friend, Matt. This is our daily scope. We work out and uh, try to pass on some, some health and fitness stuff to you guys and get to know. Get to know y'all better too, so. Free meal is good for you, and what makes it healthier for you? Great question, oh, Eli. Way to go, Eli. Good question, buddy. It's a good one. I'm gonna answer it over here. Okay. Is gluten-free a good idea, and uh, why is it good? I can answer. I have some direct experience with that right now. I have, I've had some clients that have dealt with that, and I'll tell you, I've had some issues with uh, inflammation and stomach pain and stuff like that and I didn't really know what was going on and so uh, some foods cause back up a little bit some foods cause inflammation some people can tolerate gluten matter of fact I think most people can but a lot of people can't and what happens is it'll cause inflammation in the body and so ideally like I'm choosing I try not to eat it I'm probably 95% gluten free some stuff I'll have like a sandwich occasionally with bread but the thing is is you just don't want that inflammation so 
probably better off without it. <laughs> Eating it isn't, isn't going to help you in any kind of way. It's not going to be beneficial to have it. It's just convenient. It's in a lot of foods. They cook in a lot of things, breads and stuff, pastas and all kind of stuff. But if possible, I think you're better off without it. But, you know, you may not be affected, you may not, but for a lot of people it causes inflammation. Was that, was that helpful? I always tell my clients that are gluten intolerant or people who are worried about gluten, the easy answer is if you're eating how you're supposed to be correctly, you'll avoid all gluten. So if you're eating yeah, raw, exactly. you know, you're eating raw veggies and, um, I mean, steamed, of course, something like that. If you're eating real lean meat, no, no additives to it, like Mark was saying earlier, some organic, you're eating sweet potatoes or something like that, you're going to avoid gluten altogether. It won't be a concern of yours. But if you're one of those people that go out to restaurants at least once a week or uh, every couple weeks, something like that, or like Mark What's your first saying, name? I can see that. Mark. Oh, your name is Mark too? My name is Mark. That's why I thought you were talking to me. So the, the easy answer... I say easy because it's the easiest way to clarify, but it's often a lot harder. Is uh, if you're eating correctly, so you're eating your lean meats, your vegetables, and your complex carbs, elbow injury, um, then you'll avoid that altogether. Mark went a little more in depth. <laughs> well, with that, with that, yeah, I just have personal experience yeah. with it myself. My, I'm recommended not to take it. So, Don't eat right? Yeah, it's better off not to have it. Yeah. It's uh, if you actually look what gluten is, you'll get a better understanding of it, and you'll go, oh, okay. Um, elbow injury. Yeah. Hey, okay, yeah, we're gonna address the elbow injury. What side of the elbow? Yeah. Bicep side or tricep side? And how did it happen? Was it an injury? Did something happen, and then now it's hurt? What was the initial onset of the el elbow injury? All right. Oh yeah. Good. Lightweight. Lightweight. Woo! Oh, all right, here we go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Big back now. Big back. Here we go. Come on. Come on now. Here we go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Emerald Cup. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Overall. Let's get it. Come on. Here we go. You got it. Strong. Come on. Big back. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. Nice. Come on. Yeah! Alright, alright, nice. I love bread, I know. How do you too, I'm with you. Woo! Give me some alternatives. There are some gluten free breads. Yeah, give me some alternatives. When did I get my. So when he did his skull crushers, when he hurt so his elbow. The tricep side? Yeah, oh man. Good well, elbow warm up every time, right? Oh, no. Elbow so, I had the same thing on the left side, and it was from what we thought was skull crushers. <coughs> so, we concluded, anyways. But right. try to avoid that particular exercise. You know, Mark gave me simple advice take some anti inflammatory and avoid that, that particular joint where you're going to be using it often or what hurts it. So, we switched it to like overhead. Yeah. And, that seemed, and I don't have a problem with it anymore. But when Mark said, Form that elbow up. Yeah, we usually do like two or three super, super light sets on rope extensions. Yeah. Standing rope extensions. And uh, before you do your next tricep workout or before you do chest or shoulder workout. So it's been for five months. Over five yeah, months. so it's chronic, so you need to really work on it. You know, anti inflammatories, I'd be massaging it. I'd be, um, probably after you train, immediately after ice you train cream. ice for 20 minutes till it's almost numb. And then after that, do heating sessions with it. Um, you have to be really proactive about it. You gotta ask yourself, <laughs> is it more beneficial for you to just skip triceps from now on for a little while until it heals up, or push through it? Yeah, so, try to find the one or two things you can do, because sometimes there's things you can do. I'm gonna say yeah. it's probably better for you to just skip that in general for now, not ever, but just for now, until it heals up. You know, you can always, you can always come back and make progress does that make sense? I mean, if you're if you're training hard, you can always come back from something like that if you give it some time off. But if you constantly keep keep cranking on it, you know it may never get better. Nice job, Mark. Yeah, 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 so I think that makes sense. Okay, here. Woo! 
you know, if you're if you're an avid uh, fitness addict or something like that, I know it's real hard for people. They always tell you, oh, maybe you should take some time off, and you're thinking, yeah, right. But from you know, from two fitness enthusiasts to some others, take the time off. Right. You're gonna make better gains when you come back fully recovered than if you were to just keep cranking at it. <laughs> right. So we're changing areas. It's gonna be a little. Going over here now. Get back over here, right? Okay. All right, I got some deadlifts. Pardon the abrupt. Pardon the abruptness. Here you go. Kicking right now. We are rocking it. partner Matt over here. It's our daily workout we do Monday through Friday and uh, we're just looking to get in some good workouts and make some new friends. So uh, be sure to click the follow if you're new and you haven't followed yet and uh, be sure to check out have some really good giveaways on the profile. So. All right. Yeah, thanks for the hearts too. We do work for the hearts so we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. 